surveillance is a systemic approach to monitoring the health of an individual over a period of time. Depending on the environment, these may include exposure to noise, vibration, radiation, solvents, fumes, dust, biological agents, and other substances hazardous to health. All employees who are exposed to specific hazardous substances have to undergo a health surveillance. This is a legal requirement and the requirements change from state to state. One such question is how do we utilize health surveillance in the workplace? When we talk about health surveillance, we are talking about what is sometimes referred to as biological monitoring. The focus is on early intervention so that employers can monitor and prevent disease and ensure that their substance management process is effectively working. By doing so, they are also evaluating risk to the health in the workplace. Health surveillance is simply monitoring the ongoing health of the working population. This is primarily conducted on workers who are exposed to suspected health risk and is sometimes known as biological monitoring. Health surveillance should be provided if the risk assessment shows that the level of exposure is significant for employees. Not all exposures are at a significant level and can be managed with the hierarchy of controls. Surveillance may include a history, a physical examination, and often an assessment of blood or urine samples, spirometry or x-rays. These tests are only performed when there is a clinical indication. It's important to look at how we identify what is hazardous and look at the current legislation in Australia. The Commonwealth and respective state workplace health legislation outlines the mandatory substances only. Uh, new substances are being created as the industry evolves and we continue to learn more about the effects that these have on us making health surveillance an, an ever-expanding and evolving subject.